Hey, so if you haven't heard the tragic, tragic news, New World got delayed for a month, which means all of us who took time off, you got to push it back a month. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Now, I want to go through the statement from Amazon, like paragraph by paragraph, and maybe break it down a little bit. But what I'm really interested in is seeing the feedback from the community. And in a surprise to literally no one, the Twitter takes are horrendously bad and idiotic, um, while the Reddit takes are somewhere in the middle. So let me talk about those later on in the video. Right now, let's just start off by going over the statement from Amazon and how they feel about the topic. All right, so they start off by saying, we are humbled by the support New World received from players around the world throughout closed beta. During beta, more than a million adventurers played more than 16 million total hours. Thanks to your support, New World became one of the most watched games on Twitch and one of the most played games on Steam. The passion and enthusiasm you've shown for New World validates the work we've put in over the past year, improving the game based on your, on your feedback. So, I mean, this is pretty much... They're just saying, like, thanks for playing the game, and, like, they give us some real numbers, a million players and 16 million total hours. That's a lot. Um, I didn't even put in 16 hours myself, so that means some of these people are putting in f fucking no-life hours, I guess. But more importantly, this is essentially saying that we accept your feedback, and we agree with it, and we like it, so we're going to implement as much of it as we can, and that's why we've pushed back the date by a month which I think is a good thing. We don't need another you know, incident like Cyberpunk 2077. That was embarrassing. We don't want developers just throwing their game out to the world unfinished because I believe that pushing it back by a month might hurt it a little bit, but it won't do nearly the amount of damage that releasing an unfinished game does to not only the product, but your brand and as this is amazon's like first official release of a game it's pretty important that they get this release right otherwise they might just be stunted from creating anything ever again so i think this is a really smart move not only for the players but for the company because i personally i don't want to play a broken game you know i want to play a complete game and if that means waiting another month i'm okay with that and i think most people should be too a lot of the people complaining, it's just annoying. We'll get into it later. It's just kind of embarrassing when people are complaining about that shit. Along the way, you've also given us a ton of feedback that we'll use to make New World even better. We want New World's launch to be a smooth and fun experience for all players, and that means making some improvements based on what you encounter during closed beta. So we're going to take a few extra weeks to smash bugs, improve stability, and polish the game. New World's new global launch date is September 28th, 2021. So this is this is uh, pretty much reiterating what they said above. They got the feedback, and I'm sure they got a ton of feedback because I know that Twitter and Reddit, and I'm sure like Twitch and all that, were super vocal about the problems with the game. I saw a lot of people complaining about like, how come this doesn't work? How come their servers aren't stable? When it, I mean, it is a beta, and I did go over in my video reviewing the game that I thought that the instability of the servers and the taxing of your computer's resources was too much to do in a month. I thought that they could get close, but I think two months is probably a good time frame for them to be able to do a lot of the things that I had initially brought up in my review that I thought needed looked at. So I'm glad that they're taking another month to look at these things because even I was like, I don't think a month is enough to deal with all of these problems that they're going to have. So I'm glad that they're taking another month. I think it's good for the game. This was not an easy decision to make. We know this isn't the first time we've changed our launch date in pursuit of quality, and that it can be disappointing to wait a bit longer. But we want to be sure we deliver you the highest quality game possible at launch. Thank you for your support and feedback. We're listening. We'll see you in a turnum. Now, I mean, of course, anytime you create something yourself, I know a lot of people want to make it sound like all these developers only care about money, but you know they actually do put a lot of their time and, and love into the game. So of course it hurts them to have to delay this, but they do want the game to be the best it can be. So it is a hard decision for them to make, like, hey, do we delay this? Because they do have to deal with this like kind of backlash. 
either way, they either get backlash for delaying it or they get backlash for releasing it unfinished. And I think it's a pretty unfortunate situation we're in where we have people complaining about both of these situations. And I'm reminded of a quote um, from Miyamoto, who, you know, pretty much made Nintendo what it is today, the, the like, massive, like, player base and games that they have today are in large part thanks to him. And he once said, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. And I agree with that sentiment. I know a lot of people do. And it's unfortunate that a lot of other people can't see the importance of kind of having these like nuanced thoughts about the game. So that being said, let's go ahead and get in some of the feedback I saw on Twitter um, and Reddit. And, and we'll just kind of compare those two things here. All right. So we got KJ Raka coming in hot with the there is there are barely any visible changes compared to one year ago. That's just objectively false. I mean, like, if you look at, like, go look at, fe like, the game one year ago. You can see the graphic improvements. You can see that the way that the game has changed, the way that the story has changed, the way that the combat has changed, a lot of the weapons they've changed. They, it, it, barely any change from one year ago. This dude has not paid attention to fuck all, and that is a horrible, horrible take. Why this guy would ever say that based on what's actually happened with the game is beyond me. I have no idea where this guy even gets that, but whatever. What will one month really do except make people angry? Another extra month? Tens of tens of thousands of people that fix time off from work? Think, please, the game won't magically change with an extra month. No, no one's saying it's going to magically change with an extra month, KJ Raka. They're saying that with more development time. It's going to change over the next month. It's not magic. It's people doing work. This this reads like a dude who's never ever in his life had to deliver something at work and had to have it delayed. This happens all the time. You get something assigned at work. It takes a little bit longer than you thought. You tell your boss, hey, I need an extra week. I need an extra two weeks. I need an extra month, whatever. And they're, I, in my experience, I've never heard or seen anybody get yelled at if there was like an actual good reason for doing so. And in this case, the game is honestly not in a state to be released next month. I believe that. Most of the player base believes that. So this take is horrible. Like you, One, like I said, the game has changed unimaginably from a year ago. Um, one month is going to do a lot for how much they can actually change in the game. Especially if they're doing those like crazy game developer crunch hours. I don't know if they are or aren't. But if they are, that, that's an exceptional amount of time to be spending on the game in, in just an extra month. And I'm sorry that you took time off work, bro. I did too. But either just request the end of next month off, of September off, or just cancel this month's like PTO. And if you're in a situation where you can't do that, I'm sorry. It sucks. It is what it is. But, you know, these developers had to think long and hard about this. It's not easy for them to just like, you know, give up. Or it's not easy for them to just cancel their release date that they were really looking forward to. The developers love the game probably more than any of these people or players do. Especially if you're the ones that are at the very beginning creating the game. The amount of, of like time and effort you have to put into that is like a lot. And it, it means a lot to these people. So I think that take is horrible. Alright, then we got Justin coming in. Gotta be fucking kidding me. I had three weeks off work to play this game. Beta was great. Any delay is just arbitrary and fucking pointless. We'll only lose players. As someone who pushed for a delay during alpha, this is just a mistake and getting sad. Okay, dude. I, again, I'm sorry that you took time off work, but to be honest with you, it's not pointless or arbitrary. Obviously, there, there, did you play the beta? There are clear problems with the game. Like, clear problems with the game that need to be fixed. And if they're not fixed on launch... It's going to create more of a like issue than just having it delayed an extra month. I don't know why. How do you think it's arbitrary and pointless? That's just ridiculous. Like it, it feels like you haven't played the game. Here's the thought. Why don't you become one of the first game companies known for being accountable to your fans? Provide something of value to pre-orders for failing to meet your commitment, which you gave yourself a year to make since your last delay. Some took vacation trusting you. Okay, all of these tweets are literally about taking vacation time. 
relax. You're an adult. It's okay. You can take the the week to yourself or just go take the the week at the end of September off. It's okay, man. Relax. Everything's going to be all right. But he does make a point here saying that uh provides something of value to you your pre-orders, which I could see that like if they did like like another beta this month or at the beginning of September or something like that. Like I could see that being valuable or or doing some like cosmetic thing in, for the people who pre-ordered, I could see that as something that Amazon could and probably should do, but I don't know if that makes them unaccountable for known for being accountable. I mean, I feel like it's responsible to delay the game for a month to make it better. I, it, this is like a weird statement. It's not like, it's not like they did something wrong by delaying the game. Like they, th that is what they felt was the best for the game. They're not doing something malicious. They're not like trying to hurt the game. That's just a weird statement to make. All right, so I went down to view more comments, and it looks like I got one here. Uh, they don't care about the community. Please understand that. If they didn't care about the community, they wouldn't have taken the feedback seriously. So I don't know how you can read this. See that they're going to take the feedback seriously and then update the game and release it a month later. That is the opposite of not caring about the community. I have no idea what this dude even means. Um, so that's just ridiculous like that's such a ridiculous take now this person you'd probably complain if the game was released with the bugs and shit a gaming company listening to feedback provided by fans is kind of wonderful 100 percent agree this is the best take i've read on twitter so far what what a fucking nuanced take to take three and a half seconds and think about what this is actually being everyone else take time to think about what the company and the developers are doing with this delay like this person did this person has a wonderful take genius take oh let's see what asmund gold said i'm sure asmund gold had a really good take like he usually has pretty good takes on these things good call looking forward to release please add higher ceilings for crafting gathering and add a two-handed great sword to thank you um I mean, so he agrees. Good call. I agree, obviously. Um, please add a higher ceilings for crafting and gathering and attitude. Yeah, so I think he's worried about the amount of content that's in the game. Completely understandable. If you're going to no life the game, like some of these people are taking, like, apparently one of these guys is taking three weeks off. If you're going to no life the game like that, you're going to run out of content pretty quick. So this would probably help with some of those people as well. So, sure, if, in a, if they have another month to do development, that means they have another month to implement some of these things that I know that they wanted to, like a two-handed greatsword. So yeah, that is another good reason to have them take another month is because there's going to be more stuff in the release and more content for the people to play through. Um, that's, I mean, depressed. Yeah, you could, like, being, don't get me wrong, being sad about the delay is 100% reasonable. 100% reasonable. It, you can be sad about the delay, but still understand, like, the reason for doing so right? Like you don't have to just like be angry. You can be sad and be like, Oh, well, I understand kind of sucks. I wish that it didn't happen. Uh, I wish that it could be ready for release at the end of August, but unfortunately it can't. So take the time you need to make it good. Like that, that, that makes sense for everyone here complaining about it being pushed back and think there was no bugs in beta. There was UI issues, quest UI issues, dungeon graphic issues and glitches, respawn rate issues, balance problems, bugged quest boards, dungeon loot drop issues. Exactly. These are the, and some of these are pretty easy things to fix, like respawn rate. That's an easy fucking fix. So, like that wouldn't take that much time. But some of these are gonna take time. UI issues, depending on what the bug is, that could take a while for them to not only like fix, but figure out like what is even wrong. Like when you're when you're a developer, like it's one thing to know that there's a bug. It's another thing to know what's causing it, and it's a com it's another thing to fix it. So. Yes, that is a hundred percent true. Um, so uh, yeah, so it looks like on the original page there was like some pretty bad takes, but it looks like going down into all of the replies there's some pretty good ones. So let's go ahead and look over at Reddit and see what Reddit has to say. I blame that dude who's going to a wedding and wanted them to postpone it. Uh, okay, so Reddit's just gonna meme completely about this whole thing. Um, great, I can start my university year fully focused. Yeah, like Reddit, they have like. It's, it's almost like an endearing kind of, like, like they're completely okay with it. They're so okay with it. They're just going to make jokes about it. They don't really care that much. At least it looks like so far from these, like, top comments here um, about this. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Guess I'll cancel my time off work again. Yeah, I know, dude. You gotta take, you gotta cancel your time off work. It's horrible. It's so horrible. Some people don't even get time off work, so you're kind of lucky that you even have that. Just chill out. It's gonna be okay. And then we got people joking below them, so yeah. Uh, pretty funny. Does it really take that long to remove the rainbow cats? He's talking about those ridiculous looking cats that you can get in your house. <laughs> and yeah, they do look a, bit, a little bit ridiculous. So I kind of I kind of agree with the sentiment here, but even if they do keep them in the game, completely fine. But yeah, it's it, like in a game, if you have like this like game that's supposed to be uh, kind of this like conquistador, like new world exploration where you have like you also have like like aesthetics from like mesoamerica and roman and stuff like that like it's a little weird to have these like rainbow cats and things that are completely outside of that aesthetic but it it is what it is you know it's not that big of a deal but it's kind of funny and then uh july's beta was my first experience with new world and in the state it was in i fell in love with it haven't stopped reading watching and thinking about new world in the week since would have paid full for what it was before the delay. However, if the devs think it needs an extra four weeks, I'm plenty excited to see what they add and sort of sort in that time and think it brave of them to delay again after all they've gone through already. 100%. I don't know if I'd say brave, but they've probably learned from CD Projekt Red that you don't want to release a game that is not finished even if it's going to take another delay, even if you've delayed it for years, don't do it. The outcome is worse than just delaying it again. Maybe they'll do another closed beta 2.0 in this coming weeks. Maybe. Um, that would be sick. Uh, they hinted at it, so I I don't know if they did. I don't remember seeing that, but that'd be, that'd be pretty sick if they did. I'd play it. Perfect. <laughs> My wife is out of town. Yeah, so wow, a developer that actually used a beta for what it's supposed to be and realized their game wasn't ready for release, so they decided to delay and fix things to release a well-polished game on launch. Maybe there's hope for us after all. Yeah, like, so in my opinion, I think Reddit had the best take on this, and I think Twitter had a, had a neutral take or probably a god-awful take, really, considering what was just on the normal page itself. But, you know, if, you, if you're one of these people that's like... Uh, if you're one of these people that's like completely against this, I want you to think about what happened to CD Projekt Red with, with Cyberpunk 2077 because it was horrible. It was a horrible situation. You had this, like, you had people demanding refunds, like, on the game. You have people still demanding refunds. You have a potential of a lawsuit against, like, not delivering on what they promised. Like, it's just, like, a horrible situation to be in. So yeah, I I think that this was a good call overall. I think you all should agree with me. If you don't agree with me, let's argue in the comments about it. Help me with that algorithm. Uh, if you do agree with me, go ahead and like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. I am probably going to be streaming like either today or this weekend. It's kind of hit or miss sometimes. I'll be releasing more videos also especially about the new lawsuit on Blizzard. I was hoping to see a response from Blizzard on that before I release one, but if, if there isn't one, I'll still release a video probably Saturday morning. So that's what I have to look forward to for myself. And if you're interested in my comments or about the stuff I talk about, then you have that to look forward to as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all. Thanks for tuning in guys. Peace.